Hey there, Christopher Thunder here from the World's Dirtiest Workshop working on my car here. Uh, rear backup camera for my car stereo. Now this is a race car, but yeah, I need my tunes. If I'm out there flying around between the cones, I need my tunes. Now, if you're gonna do a wiring job on a car, if you don't understand it, don't do it, right? Have somebody else do it. Your wiring should be simple. Everything should be one big loop. The labels should match your connectors. Doesn't always match the color. I mean, this is a ground wire, it's blue, and this is a hotline, it's red. Okay, close enough, right? Not always gonna match, but it should match most of the time. If you have really tiny wires because the car stereo company left you with really tiny wires, it's gonna suck. What you can do is you can twist them to much larger wires and then crimp them using butt connectors. That way you've got this whole spiral of wire in here all the way up and then it's crimped. And again, all the way up and crimped. So if the crimping isn't what's really making the connection work, it's the rest of the twist that's making it work and it's holding it steady. And you can tape it so that it doesn't short. Those are little secrets to wiring things that really don't fit, right? But it, it's gonna work. Now, why do I have so much wire here? It's so I can loop it up and then tape it to the door here. But I knew when I was going in that I was gonna have about a foot of extra wire here. Make sure you have about a foot of extra wire when you're doing your cutting, because you never know when you're gonna cut something and they, oh, wait, I, I didn't want that. Mm, uh, now I gotta fix it, right? Maybe it's behind a seal or it's twisted around another wire or something and oh, I can't put it back together now. Well, give yourself plenty of room because you can't uncut stuff. You cannot. That's a little secret, right? When you're working with a cutter, you can't uncut stuff. Think once, think twice, think three times, and then cut it, right? So. Uh, little rules about working on your car. When you're working with seals, like this little thing here, if that's not done right, if that's not sealed up, your car will rust in about five years. It'll rust. So if you have old seals, make sure you use a really good sealant and that you let it dry and that, that stuff is sealed up so water doesn't get in there. Really important stuff when working on your car. Thanks for watching me, Christopher Thunder, from the world's dirtiest workshop. Bye-bye.